Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to make the stairs up to your second floor if you're a Keystone Library. And as you can see, we have our left and our right of the building. And so the stairs are generally going to have to go on the right side of the building because they're going to have to go up into the interior of the building and not into the green roof. And you need two sets of stairs. So let's go to level one. And when we go to make our stairs, we click on stairs right up here in the architecture tab. And there's a couple things that we need to set. The run is where the stairs are going to be created from. So right now it's set to the center. You can see it's drawn from the center of my stairs. Let's just keep that default setting. And then we have our actual run width. We're not going to worry about the offset now. And if you remember from your building code calculations that our width needed to be 39 uh, inches. So we're going to make ours a minimum of 4 feet. You can make yours larger. If you're adding on to your building, you need to make it larger and figure out that calculation. So if I do 4 feet and I create this, I just click and see how it's creating the stairs as I go. Over here is actually doing the calculations for how many steps that it needs to create to go up to our second level. And one thing that we got to forget to set is that it needs to go up to level two. And when we go and we create this, it's telling us we need to make 35 steps. So when I click and I create, I actually need to physically go and make each one of those steps. You can see down here at the bottom, it's telling me how many steps I created. So if I just hit a straight run, and I did all my 35 steps and I green checked it. And let's just put a simple camera view in there. And we looked at that. There's our stairs. And you can see it's kind of, you know, a strange staircase. Because, I mean, if you imagine going up the stairs, it'd be very long. Obviously, it's going into the beams and we'll move this um, later. But, you know, you'd have a landing on there of some sort. At least one or two landings uh, so people could uh, kind of rest and not kill themselves. So let's go back to level one. And what I like to do is when I make my stairs, I kind of like to design where my landing's going to be. So to do that, I go into my model line, and I'm just going to make a simple landing. So let's imagine my stairs are going in this corner. I'm going to do it in between these uh, two columns. And I know that my landing, if I made a line, had to be four feet, so I could just draw it four feet. Now I could make my landing probably a minimum would be about nine feet because I would need room for the railings. Um, I'm going to make it 10 just to make it a little bit bigger. And there would be a guide for where my landing is going to go. Now the other thing I like to do is think about how far I want my steps to come out. And we could kind of draw our steps in. So if my stairs are going to be four feet wide, I could draw in a step. So I'm going to just draw one here and it's going to be four feet wide. And I know that when I make my stairs that each tread is 11 inches. And if you don't know where I got that from, if we come here to the stairs, it's set to make my treads 11 inches, which is usually uh, the code. And so we're going to keep it to that setting. Let's delete this. But let's click on that line we made, and we'll use something called um, the offset command. So I click it, and my offset distance is 11 inches. So now when I click on this, see how I can make a copy of my stair step. So I'm kind of making a two-dimensional drawing of where my stairs are going to go. And we're going to use this as a guide here in a minute. And you can kind of see where your stairs are going to come out. So when you're doing space planning, it will kind of help you lay out where your stairs are going to go. And I've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 steps. I need to have 35. So this even it would it would have to come much more so let's see what this looks like when i do it so i go architecture and i go to my stairs and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change my run from center to left it just makes life easy and you'll see why because if i start right here see how it's creating the stairs as i go in the position that i drew and when i get to the landing i'm going to click and when I continue, I'm going to come back over here to this edge. That's why we made this uh, two-dimensional shape. So we have an endpoint click point. And I click, and now I could go. I was almost perfectly symmetrical there. And I could click all of them to go up. And let's green check. And let's see what that one looks like. So here, let's go to our camera view. And so that looks a little bit more realistic. The nice thing is here is now I could kind of use this space underneath here. Maybe I make it into a janitor's closet or some sort of uh, useful space that I could store stuff or do something with it. 
So that's how I could do a landing. If you wanted to get uh, a little bit more creative and you wanted to make like a square stairs that went up here, this entire area, and we wanted to have the stair start maybe right here, I like to do the same thing. Remember, we go to the monoline. I'm going to simulate my landing. I'll stick with that four feet. And let's go all the way down here. Let's get crazy. And so there would be my landing. Now I could draw in my stair again. And let's draw a four foot stair. Maybe let's let's do five feet. Let's let's really live. And there's my stair. So if I come up to my offset again, I can take and make some steps and have it come out this way. And then maybe I draw another line over here. I draw that five feet as well. Use my offset. Whoop, wrong one. And I know I need 35 steps, so you could clearly see if I go and Let's do one more this way. If I line these up, now maybe I'm going to make another rectangle shape here. And you'll see why in a second. So if I just go and I make my four foot landing, and I go this way. Looks like I forgot one more step. Now, when I start these stairs, so I do architecture, I do stairs, and I'm making sure I set it to go to level two. And I do my run at my left, and I start it here, go up, I come to this point, I go up, and then now I come all the way back over to here, I go up again. Continue green check. All right, that's just saying my railings are over. Let's see what this looks like. So I kind of made a, a neat little rectangular staircase that goes up, and you can see when you get to a certain point, it's high enough in the air we're not going to worry about anyone bumping their head. And I like this because it's similar to the Evanson Library, where you could have an art installation hanging down the middle. Maybe you could have some storage on here. But you can see the key is thinking about what you want your stairs to look like and laying it out with your lines. Okay, you need two staircases. Remember that one of your staircases needs to be enclosed in a wall. So maybe for this one, I would just have a... Oh, let's change it to our interior partition wall. I would have a wall going around it. And I, you know, this would be an enclosed stairs. Why didn't I draw it right on top of the stairs? Well, keep in mind, you got to have a door to get into it, right? This would be your fire stairwell. This would be your stairwell that goes up to the second floor. And so um, that's how we draw our stairs. And the best way to do it is making sure that you set uh, a 2D drawing to kind of click on to. Uh, the other thing is just me remembering that you got to set this your stairs to go up to level 2